Peace. It's B was JJB. Uh, informing y'all that today is the first day of my weight cut over the winter and spring, the early spring, I gained about 40 pounds in a dirty bulk. So now is the first day of me officially trying to cut down back to around 200 pounds to 205 pounds. Today, for instance, I ate nothing and went on the morning walk. I did about an hour and eight minutes and got 7,804 steps in. Usually aim for 10,000, but I did what I did in that time. I had water, L-citrulline with pycnogenol. That's usually what I drink in the morning. I also drank one cup of green tea and I drank a coffee with no sugar with half and half. Um, of course, wearing the weight vest and I walk with two two pound dumbbells for a complete weight of 44 pounds. I might go back out and walk again for a little bit longer, but I, I make sure to do that before 12 p.m. Try to get to 10,000 steps and I'm making another cup of green tea. Now I'm gonna step a couple more times out there for maybe another 20 minutes. Plan on going to the gym later to do a full body workout. Uh, might record some things and let y'all know what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm wolfing right now. Well, the whole point <clears throat> of the weight cut is I finally intend to compete. So they told me, they being different coaches and people of that sort, professionals, said to win and be a champion, you have to be at 5% body fat or below. And obviously me being a natural athlete, I don't take any steroids, stop taking the white lady, stop taking all that type of stuff. It's imperative that I start slowly but surely, right? So I'm going into it. Uh, not really too much sugar. After the next bout of walking, I'm going to probably drink a little bit of honey and a little bit of olive oil, right? And keep it pushing until about 2 o'clock. Um, might drink another cup of coffee then. It's really about reducing the calories. Reducing as many calories as I can, but increasing the workload. I'm reducing the carbs, so that's why there's no sugar in the coffee. I usually put a little sugar or brown sugar or honey or something like that in the tea, but today, cutting that out. And starting today, no more fried rice. I used to uh, eat fried rice with chicken curry every day. Um, that's probably how I gained about 40 pounds of fat. And today being the first day of the official cut means I'm not gonna eat as much as I did back then. Like a couple weeks ago like I, I was training don't get it twisted I was working out but it was a little sporadic it, I wasn't going to the gym at the wild times of night like I would walk in the morning get the 10,000 steps in go to the gym at about five six o'clock then walk again and then go to the gym at like two in the morning and that's like the first pictures you saw when I was at like a pretty decent physique that's the routine I was doing right so for now it's really about dialing in locking in and getting to the point where I'm gonna honestly feel like shit sometimes but now I'm gonna get back into the supplementation the ashwagandhas the shilajits the ginsengs things of that nature to boost the metabolism and cut more fat in my daily life right and with the fasted, the intermittent fasting, there are some references that I can show you if you guys care about that. But intermittent fasting does raise your HGH. It's all about raising the, the hormone levels naturally so you can keep building muscle even in the times you're not really working out, all right? Me being 32 years old now, I'm still at a, I'm still in the capability. I'm still capable. 
of putting on a lot of muscle and burning fat at the same time, which is completely possible. So that was just a, this was just a little update, letting you guys know where I'm at with the training. You know, like and subscribe for more information, comment, any questions. And um, this is the start of the journey, finally taking it seriously. All right. Have a blessed day and peace.